In last video, we discussed why emergency was removed. In January 1977, Indira Gandhi suddenly announced fresh elections, surprising everyone. In this video, we will discuss the following election held in the March of 1977. Let us first discuss the political stage before the election. On 18th January, as Mrs. Gandhi spoke over the radio, her opponents were being released from jails across the country. The next day, 19th January, the leaders of four parties met at the residence of Murarji Desai in New Delhi. These parties were the Janasangha, the Bharatiya Lokdal, a party principally of farmers led by the veteran Charan Singh, the Socialist Party, and Murarji Desai's own Congress O. The following day, Desai told the press that they have decided to fight the elections under a common symbol and a common name. On 23rd, the Janta Party was formally launched at a news conference in the presence of Jai Prakash Narayan. Ten days after the formation of Janta Party, Jagjivan Ram announced that he was leaving the union government, known universally as Babuji. Ram was a lifelong congressman, a prominent minister in Nehru's and Indira Gandhi's cabinets, and most crucially, the acknowledged leader of the scheduled castes. It was Ram who had moved the resolution in the Lok Sabha endorsing the emergency. His resignation came as a shock to the Congress and as a harbinger of things to come. Babuji was renowned for his political acumen. That he chose to leave the Congress was widely taken as a sign that his ship was sinking. In resigning from his old party, Jagjivan Ram, along with H. N. Bhuguna and Nandini Satpathi, formed a new party, the Congress for Democracy. The CFD, he said, would collaborate with the Janta Party regarding candidates in order to avoid the Congress gaining from a split opposition vote. Congress forced a coalition with the CPI and AIADMK. Coalition with CPI was natural as Indira Gandhi was implementing radical program during her terms. Coalition with AIADMK might be due to the fact that DMK had forced the common front with the Janata Party. The opposition campaign kicked off with a mass rally at New Delhi's Ram Lila grounds on Sunday, 6th March. In her interview, Indira Gandhi said, The Janta men are only united against me, but not on any positive program. In his interview, JP said, They should vote without fear and remember that if you vote for the opposition, you will vote for freedom. If you vote for the Congress, you will vote for the dictatorship. The chief protagonists of the conflicts of 1973-75 were also the chief campaigners in the elections of 1977. Despite his age and indifferent health, JP hit the road. Between 21st February and 5th March, he spoke at Patna, Calcutta, Bombay, Chandigarh, Hyderabad, Indore, Pune, and Ratlam, pausing only to spend time with his dialysis machine. Everywhere, he warned the audience that this is the last free election the Congress is voted back to power. 19 months of tyranny shall become 19 years of terror. Mrs. Gandhi denied that her party was the monopoly of one family. In any case, few families in the world had a comparable record of service and sacrifice. She admitted that there had been some excesses during the emergency, yet defended the regime as a necessity at the time. We don't care who criticizes us, she insisted. We have to proceed on the right path guided by sound policies, programs and principles. At least in northern India, the elections were inevitably seen as a referendum on emergency period policies and programs, and on one program in particular, that of compulsory sterilization. Particularly active in the election campaign, were school teachers and lower officials who had their promotions stopped or were punitively transferred 
for not having met the quotas assigned them by the administration. With this background, 6th general election was held during 16th March to 19th March 1977. Counting started on 20th March and the historical results were out by that night. Let us discuss the results of this election. Janata Party with its coalition won clear majority. They won 330 out of 542 seats. The CFD merged with the Janata Party immediately after the elections. Congress trailed far behind with only 154 seats. The kingpins of Congress party tumbled one after another. In Rai Bareilly, Indira Gandhi had lost to her old foe and litigant Raj Narayan. In the adjoining constituency of Amethi, Sanjay Gandhi had been defeated by an obscure student leader. Surprisingly, in the south where the emergency had been less vigorous and the pro poor measures of the 20 point program better implemented congress improved its performance congress won 92 seats in place of 70 in 1971 janta won only 6 seats in the four southern states the election had revealed a manifest regional divide and also a divide by caste and religious affiliation two groups in particular long considered to be loyal vote banks of the ruling party had this time deserted the congress one was the scheduled castes many of whom were swayed into voting for janata party by the defection of babu jagjivan ram the other was the muslims who had suffered grievously at the hands of sanjay's paid programs when elections were called the influential imam of delhi's greatest mosque Jama Masjid asked Muslims to vote against the Congress. The results of the election delighted many, angered some, and surprised all. In a letter to a friend, Mrs. Gandhi attributed her defeat to malign forces. People have always thought that I was imagining things and overreacting, she wrote. But there has been a deep conspiracy, and it was bound to overtake us. one editor who had been among her most steadfast supporters took the long and more hopeful view like winston churchill indira gandhi had led her nation to victory in war like him she had been cheered for it and like him she had been thrown out of power by an ungrateful people among the delighted sober commentators spoke of a janata wave less sober one talked of revolution for the first time in the nation's 30 year history a party other than the congress would govern at the center no indian alive in 1977 knew what it was like not to have the congress as the country's dominant and ruling political party few knew what it was like not to have nehru or indira gandhi as its dominant and ruling political figure you can relate this election to the recent general election of 2014 in which modi wave dominated and swept out congress following the election janata party faced the crisis the crisis of selecting prime minister to lead the government in our next video we will discuss this crisis before janata party for electing the prime minister thank you for watching this video please like share and comment because discussion solution for more discussions please subscribe our channel